Hi there. We're in the 74 right now. And this thing's still on jack stands. People who watch my channel a lot will know that uh, the attempt to replace the shocks in this thing with some uh, air shocks to uh, give me some more uh, support. I uh, can't remember exactly how long it's been sitting here, but uh, uh, embarrassingly long. It was around Christmas time, I think, and we're into April now, so this thing's been here like four months or something like that. Sometimes the weather, like right now, the weather's fucking shitty. It needs to be quite dry under there for me to want to get under there. And now I've reached a point where i got to cut the U-bolts off. And I know I could probably do it with the gas tank as it is. But the gas tank's empty, so it's probably like full of goddamn fumes and all that. And that's the worst kind of gas tank to have. So, essentially, I just, uh, you know, this is a will-it-run kind of experiment, right? I don't know. I mean, the battery might be half dead for all I know. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's probably a stupid idea, but uh, let's just see. Um, I do want to get back on this, uh, not because I, you know, absolutely need it, but I like, I like to be able to move cars uh, when I need to. And this one isn't in that position, so. Uh, let's just see what. Oh. Otherwise, though, Nate worries. This was never an awesome, you know, cold start car anyway. I got my um, vacuum gauge down here, which when I'm driving this car, I watch a lot. Because it'll tell me if it's going to stall or get problematic. Anyway, that was, that was great bitching. Uh, Kara told me a couple of months ago, I think, <laughs> that uh, there's a uh, there's a wee bit of fungi going on down here, like actual mushrooms. Um, this car is terrible for little leaks down corner walls. I've got my tool kit in the back, and I probably shouldn't store my tools in here in this trunk because uh, that's not very well sealed either, and it, they're always they're always moist. And uh, today, when I was doing the, my um, examination on the 66 Valiant, uh, the valve stuff, that's where my feeler gauges had been, and they're they're not rusted, but they're just crud, you know. So I mean, yeah, I mean, for not really having been started in three months, I'd say uh, not so bad. I'm not going to put it in gear because we're still, you know. Well, I guess it wouldn't go anywhere, but... <laughs> but anyway, yeah. I'm not disappointed. I should get rid of these mushrooms down here. They're not a good kind of mushrooms, or I'd probably fucking eat them. But, yeah. Anyway, very short one. 1974 Valiant, and, um, yeah, really nothing much up at all. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot the... Fuck. I'm still not 100% done the dash work. <laughs> Jesus, I forgot all about that. Uh, but anyway, there's a wire off on the back of the uh, wiper switch. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Stupid little update, but some, some people might like. Have a good one. Bye.